All right, so me and Young Dirk, we about to sit here and we about to watch I Have a Dream. We're going to get we going to watch it together because the youth of today need to know about Martin Luther King and who he was. So in his six-year-old mind, we're going to learn about Martin Luther King and then we're going to talk about it when it's over. Action. I have the pleasure to present to you Dr. Martin Luther King. Yeah. demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. 100 years later, the life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. 100 years later, the Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty. I have a dream. But one day, this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal.
called Symphony of Brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day with all the thoughts to be able to sing with new meaning, my country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. And so let freedom ring. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring. From the mighty mountains of New York, let freedom ring. From the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania, let freedom ring. From the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado, let freedom ring. From the curvaceous slopes of California, but not only that, let freedom ring. From Stone Mountain of Georgia, let freedom from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. you to understand is that everything is not funny huh? I want you to understand everything is not funny What's that laughing? but I want you to understand that first while before we re while we recording you, you see these tears you see these tears yes do you see why you don't understand why let me tell you why because without that man you wouldn't be able to go to school with white children. You wouldn't be able to walk down the street without somebody saying something to you. You wouldn't even be able to drink water at a park. You wouldn't be able to go to the water fountain inside of a store. You'd have to go to a water fountain that said for black people only. You would have to sit in the back of the bus. You wouldn't be able to sit in the front of the bus. You wouldn't even be able to get certain motel rooms because people are just are hating on you because of your skin color it was hard for black people did you not look for us to be in the, the neighborhood that we're in right now this neighborhood used to be all white people you know that uh -huh, but what happened to the white people they moved out they there's moved. white people in there's white people all around us but the and thing there's white people in oakland that we have friends with in oakland but but in oakland they be they speak spanish and but they don't they um it was two white people one was a and okay but out. this is not that this is about way in the past somebody to sacrifice their life for us as uh, black men they for us to be free so tell me look at the camera and tell me who is Martin Luther King to you? What did you just learn from that speech? And look at the camera. I know the bell speech is that he was a president and he got arrested. Okay, so uh, so that's where you're wrong. See, this is where we got to make a difference in the kids, in our in our the youth. This is where we talk to them. First of all, he was not a president. He was or not? He was not a president. There was, was he was a black person, a black man, a strong black man that sacri made sacrifices, went into jail, and he let us know that we had a voice and that one day we will be free. So that right there, that speech, I have a dream. 
He was saying that he had a dream that one day we would be able to be free and do the things that we were doing because we once used to be slaves. Did you know that? Slaves? Slave. I don't want to be a slave. Yeah, that's the thing. And Martin Luther King didn't want to be a slave either. So he made a change. He sacrificed. He came from Alabama. He sacrificed. He marched. He marched. And they would lock him up. They would hit the people, his supporters. You see how I'm a vlogger and I have a lot of people that support me? Okay, well, Dr. Martin Luther King had a whole country that supported him and they would lay down their lives for him because he would sacrifice himself and his, 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 freedom, his freedom, his family and everything to make a change. So that, that speech right now, that speech was in the 60s and he said he had a dream that one day it would be like it is right now. Right now, where there's not as much racism, it's more separated by money. But the racism stuff has been separated because he had a dream. And he wanted to make a change for us as black people. Oh. So he was not a president. He was a strong black man that stood up for us. He stood up for us. So he... He got arrested because what? Because he was standing for his people, for our people, and for our future and for change. So he got arrested because he was standing for us? 